What's up, YouTube Loop Troop? Loopy Fist back again, helping you guys beat the solo missions with their weaknesses or most effective uh, elements. So today we're gonna hop right on over into the Pikachu event. You can see I just got defeated by it, but that's because I actually hopped out when I won already. So I am here to show you the way, and we won actually because somebody in my chat was like, yo, why don't we try to use Frost Moth? So that's what I did, and this is the deck we're using. Um, let's go ahead and show you the deck we're going against first, Pikachu deck. It's got two Pikachus in it, base Pikachus, uh, two Pikachu EXs, two Magneton lines, two Raichu lines, um, and it also has one Zapdos EX. So whole goal is to take out one of these EX Pokemon and then take out one of the smaller Pokemon that are weak. If we can get one of these early on, then that's great. Or if we can get one of the EX Pokemon early on, even better. Uh, they got two EX X speeds. I don't know what the EX speed is, but it got two X speeds, two Pokeballs, two Professor Researchers, one Sabrina, two Lieutenant Sergeys. Um, and the deck that we're rocking is, I don't have a name for it or anything, but I might i might make a name for it. Uh, well, let's see, what would be a good name for this? Um, Snow Days, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We got two Tentacruel lines. We got two uh, Frostmoth lines, two Starmies, and that's it for Pokemon. We got two Pokeballs, two Professor Researchers, that's standard, two Misties, one Sabrina, one Giovanni, just in case the opportunity comes up for us to take advantage of something. Uh, Sabrina's kind of hard to use in this, in this um, versus this deck, to be honest with you. And the reason why is because the Pikachu deck, every single one of the Pokemon only needs like two energy to retreat, if not one. And also, they're gonna have so many Pokemon out there on the field. It has three EX Pokemon that are base. So whenever you use Sabrina, your chances of getting something you want to be put in are very small, right? So that's that's gonna be the issue with using Sabrina, but sometimes they can try to save you, make them lose resources. Uh, Giovanni, obviously just very good, just an extra 10, 10, 10 damage. You're gonna need that, especially cause they're gonna be able to deal with Pikachu, what, 110 damage on every single one of our cards if they have three lightning cards in the background. Uh, kind of tough. You wanna hope they pull really bad. So your best bet with this is to hope they get some bad luck and that's gonna take you to victory. I know, it's luck, but sometimes you gotta use it to your best advantage. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this battle and see if we can manage to win. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna name this deck. Maybe some people in the chat can help me. Somebody says, uh, Snokemon. Okay, I like that one, <laughs> Snoke Snokemon. Oh my God, if you guys have never listened to the, um, if you've never listened to the Pokemon Christmas music playlist, you would be in for a treat. It's actually pretty good. So are we going first or second? We are going first. This is not desirable. The last thing you want to do is give a deck that only needs like two energy on this Pikachu to start doing some, some major damage. Uh, first dibs on energy. Unfortunately, we don't really have an option. So we just have to deal with what we got. And right now it's a whole lot of nothing. So it's, it's looking like this might be a first try loss. Whoops, I knocked my headphone out. Right now, this is already looking kind of dangerous. I don't know what kind of Pokemon they have up their sleeve. Let's go ahead and use, uh, I'm not gonna use this Tentacruel. I like using the one that I got earlier. It's been, I feel like it's been waiting in line. That's why I do that. It just feels right. Let's use this Professor Research. And we got a Pokeball and a Frost Moth. Okay. We really want to stall out with that Frost Moth if we get the opportunity to. Uh, lock some things down and that's gonna allow us to actually take some things out if need be For the time being we cannot attack. Let's just go in. There's no reason to even hit Pikachu with the uh, tentacle to begin with So good thing they got no good pulls right now. That's what we want to see We can go ahead and hit Pikachu with tentacle now a good thing a good note to think about is that oh I almost forgot Pikachu dies to us with two hits of tentacle because tentacle does 50 but the poison tick is gonna deal 10 so if we hit hit this two times that's 120 damage so we can kill it so let's go ahead and hit poison tentacles afflict pikachu with some poison this is this might actually be a really lucky run they haven't been able to play any pokemon if you don't realize pikachu only can deal damage when it has um 
when it has Pokemon on the back line. If it doesn't, it can't really deal any damage. Okay, so it cured his poison, but I can kill this Magnemite right now. So next turn, I kill Magnemite. Um, ooh, actually, no. I'm going to kill Pikachu next turn. I'm going to kill Pikachu. We do have Sabrina. This is one of those times where Sabrina actually comes in clutch. We know what's going to come in. They have no choice. They have to abide by the rules. And now Pikachu is donezo finito. Oh, no. I, I skipped the line with that Frostmoth. Ah, oh, it'll be all right. All right. Let's go ahead and put this on Frostmoth first. We could put it on to um, Starmie. But I think I want to stall some stuff out. And next turn, if they don't get anything... We're gonna be able to win. So we just got really lucky right here. They haven't had anything coming in. So, so let's see. Let's see if we can actually um, keep this luck up. They got an X speed. Where are you running behind? <laughs> what are they gonna be running behind? I'm gonna put Frostmoth up because we, well, I could have put, I could have put Starmie up. That would have been fine. Oh, he's not gonna have any. Oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna afflict him with poison. I'm also going to use Giovanni. So we're going to retreat. Uh, I'm going to put another point on Frostmoth. We're doing fairly good right now, though. And. Let's see if we can get this. Don't wanna, I'll, I'll go and put Star you down. No reason not to. Just in case things go sour. Pause and tentacles. We're gonna do 60, which is gonna turn into 70. So is he gonna get out? I guess is the is the is the is the question. Does he have anything to get in here with? He might have to back up. If he doesn't back up right now and go into Zapdos, he's gonna be in for oh! He did not back up with Zapdos, he kills us, but he's also gonna die now. So we win. Oh, I guess we got to put something in. Sure, why not? Frost moth it. Frost moth it up, baby. All right, so that's it. We get our three points. He gets his one point because he got salty. Uh, and we win. So finally beat this with nothing but water muns. Uh, Frost moth was great, but we didn't even have to, like, even use it, really. Um, but I do think that Frost moth can be a great addition to this to, to beating this just because you're stalling out that pokemon the cool thing about pokemon that actually afflict damage when they actually uh do sleep is that it's not a coin flip they go to sleep no matter what it's a coin flip if you wake up which is a whole lot better than something like hypno or you know anything that's using an ability to, to afflict that um that sleep effect so all around a uh, pretty decent deck the, the staggers can help if you need it, but in this case, they got super unlucky. Um, so, I don't know. You can keep playing it until they get unlucky, or you can, you know, try something like this and try to put them to sleep. Either way, I hope this helped you guys out. If it didn't, let me know in the comments. If it did, let me know in the comments. Either way, let me know in the comments. We'll be seeing you guys in the next uh, iteration of this. I think Mewtwo's next. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll be taking them out. Catch you guys later. Peace.